Hey everybody, there's been an exciting update to Microsoft Teams Live Events where you can now share your system audio if you're a presenter. So I wanted to run through that scenario. I wanted to see um, if you can share your audio just as a presenter or if you happen to share your screen as a producer, do you still have the same system sharing uh, settings? So we're gonna explore that. And then I wanted to play a video locally and a video um, streamed over a browser from like Microsoft Stream or something like that and make sure that the audio is in sync, make sure that everything looks and sounds good on the um, resulting recording that we get out of that live event. So let's go ahead and dive in here real quick and take a look. So right here in my Microsoft Teams client, I'm in my admin account, which is my, uh, my test account that doesn't have any extra calendar invites. I've got two live events set up. One, the admin account is the producer. The other one, the normal account, the one that scheduled it over on the other side, that one's the producer. I tested this briefly yesterday, but I didn't actually go live. And I noticed that it works just fine if you're a presenter. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So I click on this one. My account is a presenter right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and join this meeting. So we're gonna join that. And then over here on this side, I'm going to join this as a producer. So this is my normal, regular account. So I'm gonna join as a producer. Keep that microphone muted right there. And then this is one of the microphones muted so I won't get a, a feedback loop going on. So now you're looking at me from the presenter view. For a presenter, a live event just looks like a regular Teams meeting other than you get this ability right here to see that it's live or in pre-live and then you get the Q&A function as a presenter as well. Otherwise, it's just a Teams meeting. Over here on the producer side, my normal account, I see that my cloud desktop, that one is, is lit up now, and I can't share any content. I can share my own video because it's come through, coming through as a webcam, so I need to share some content over here. So back on my presenter laptop, I'm going to share my desktop screen. So you see that red, that red box shows up like you're used to when you share your monitor. Now, Microsoft over the past uh, about two months or so, they've moved the share audio button. It used to be that you could click a checkbox when you shared your screen, allowing you to share system audio. Now what you do is you share your screen first and then you move your mouse up to the top and you'll see this little button in the middle right here that says include system audio. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna include system audio on this. So now back over on the producer side, I actually have some content that I can show. So I'm gonna click my presenter's screen. He is also sharing his, his screen audio. It would be kind of nice if I could see somewhere down here that the audio from the laptop is coming through as well. Maybe that'd be an enhancement later on. But we'll go ahead and send this live. And then now we can start our event because we have some content showing. So this tells me that you know there's gonna be a little bit of a delay. Because we're in the COVID-19 uh, situation, the, my live event has been increased from four hour limit to 16 hour limit for a, uh, a limited period of time. So we're not going to take 16 hours for sure. And in about 10 seconds here, I'm live now. So I can see that I'm live. If I switch back over to here, I'm live. If I open up Teams, I'll see that this changed over from that pre tag to the red live tag. So I know that we're actually live I'm presenting, people are seeing whatever the producer is putting on screen, which happens to be my screen because I have a red box around it. Now, let's go in here to Microsoft Stream and try out a video real quick. So we're going to stream.microsoft.com and then we're going to play a clip from a browser and see if it's in sync or not. And then we'll download one of these videos and we'll see if that's in sync if we play back locally. Okay, we're loaded up here, so I'm just gonna go to Teams Tip Tuesday and find one of my uh, previous videos that we can play back here. So right here we have this uh, minute and a half video. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna hit play real quick, see how it sounds on the recording. Outlook. That means that you also have the team show up in the global address list within Outlook. You want to keep this in mind whenever you're naming your team. We want to stay away from 
Okay, that's enough of that. So you can see my, my first couple of videos, the, uh, the quality was a little bit different when I was recording on uh, just my phone. So we'll see how that looks and how that um, sounds. And then um, because I'm an admin, I'm logged in as my admin account, I'm gonna go ahead and download this video so we can play it back locally, see if the sound is like any different uh, sync up or any different quality, anything like that. So, because I'm uh, sitting in our data center that downloaded very, very quickly, we're gonna open this up, we're gonna play it back. Teams, that team will then show at the top of the global address list. We've had a few complaints about the names of teams in the past few months because of them showing at the top of the address. Want to stay okay, so I have no idea if that was in sync or, or not. We're going to um, go get the recording and see how that looks. But that's how you share your system audio in a Teams meeting. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop presenting. I'm going to um, get out of this meeting. We're going to stop the event. And then we're going to go in as a producer and see if we can share system audio if you share your screen as a producer. So we're gonna hang up this call. We're gonna end the live event here. Now the live event has ended, we can never restart it again. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave. And now we're going to go into the calendar on my admin account where my admin is a producer. Now I'm gonna join this as a producer. You see at the top, join as producer. We're gonna go ahead and join that as well. So there's that, now I'm in the producer view right here and I could select my my camera I can put that over here I could send it live and go live but as a producer I want to share my screen so I'm going to go ahead and share my monitor a lot of times people don't have the uh, the luxury of um, you know having a dedicated producer from the presenter so we want to see if that person can also share their system audio so I'm a producer I've shared my screen and now you can see, if I go up to the top, I have the same button right there. So that, that's actually a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna turn that on. There's system audio. Hey, I had a chance to download those uh, recordings from Microsoft Teams uh, live event, and I don't think I was very impressed with uh, the way that it looked whenever it was syncing up audio and video together. So especially with the local video, it seemed to do okay with browser-based video. But I think when it comes to, um, to local video, I probably would not use the system audio sharing when it comes to local. Uh, that being said, I think it's probably passable if you were to take like a YouTube video or Microsoft Stream video link and put that into PowerPoint. Um, you could have that play as part of your presentation. It's probably gonna be okay, but local video seems to, to just get out of sync too far. Um, another place where I would see using system audio and sharing system audio is if you want to go live a few minutes early in your team's live event, you can play some music beforehand. Maybe you've got a, uh, some photos of like your, your latest team outing or something like that. You could show those on a loop on the screen. You could play some music behind that. Um, you know, when, when it comes to that, make sure you're using, you know, copyright free material. You have the rights to play that music back to that audience. But um, I think that probably would be a better use case than what we've got with uh, playing a video back, especially if it's local. Um, I'm gonna continue testing with stream and with YouTube videos just to see if they're passable to see if I can continue recommending that to, um, to my associates. But uh, I probably would stay away from local, to be honest. So I think the hunt continues for finding the absolute best quality when it comes to our team's live events and uh, playing back video. I'm going to try a few other options, a few other ideas, and um, I'll let you know if I discover anything that is rock solid enough to recommend. Um, but I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.